Hey guys, and welcome to a new review. Today we're going to be looking at Invincible 134. This is the end of all things part 2. So this is the second part to the final story arc. It's the last bit, and then it's over. One of the greatest, amazing series. One of the best, I think one of the best non-DC or Marvel superhero comics, if not the best. So we're going to jump into it. This is the 134. Um, it starts off with showing... Um, Obviously, I'm trying to remember this guy's name. Uh, my name's the evil version of Mark's father from the planet Tarragon. Tarag I've, I'm forgetting all, everything now. Like, I'm forgetting names and stuff because it's not something... I don't know. It's weird. Like, I know some of the names. It shows him. He's wearing, like, a cat creature because he just killed this cat monster creature. He's wearing it. He goes back and finds his daughter, uh, one of his daughters in a... Or one of his, like, daughters or whatever. It's in, like, thing. And there's a bunch of dead corpse and stuff. And they have a little talk. And then they kind of have a fall daughter moment. Even though he's the bad guy. And we don't care as much. But got a little more with him. And then we go back to Mark and Evie. The wife. And then this other guy. Who, um... El Alan? Alan and Tila. Who is uh, Alan's girlfriend. And he's the guy. Big orange guy. One eye. Alien, they're both aliens. To come in and talk about some stuff and said, because there's some stuff in the show, the last issue they got in the whole fight. And like, I have to make my piece, I have to do whatever, I have to, I have to say this stuff. And then it's like, and he's, he's like, because they were friends. Now, after this, like, Mark is not the first one to do something. It's Evie and Envy, Envy, Evie, 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 uh, uses the powers and wraps the guy around. And basically, I wouldn't say kills him, but tries to uh, maybe kill him. And the girlfriend's telling him to stop. He's trying and stuff like. And then Mark says, "Let him go. Let him go." And he's like, "I know you had to do all this. You had to do what you had to do because that's kind of who you are. You're this person. You are like a. Um, you have to do what's right for the planet overall. Like he runs, I guess, this planet or the sector. You have to do it for everybody, more or less, just one person." And he made the call, and it made with Mark brother end up dying at the end of it. But yeah, that's what it comes down to. And then it says, Mark talking to the father, say no. And it's like, yeah, we need to stop this guy. And even in Mark's like, we have to stop this guy. Something we need to. And then they they have a little talk. He's like, I know, I know. He's like, I know. My, I don't know if he's his brother or if he's somehow related. I mean, they're all part of the same like alien species, but I don't know if he's like a brother, a sibling. I don't know. But they uh, um, all decide to get into going to war. Mark and Evie get dressed in these, like, war, I guess, outfits that kind of like, um, not superhero outfits, but they kind of like a like a, a military outfit, I guess, for their, their sector or them, for them to wear. And Evie changes them into their superhero costume for, like, the even small costume and then whatever. I forget what her alias is. Like, what's, does she have an alias? I think by not, because he doesn't have a mask or anything. I don't remember if she did. Did I was like one of the kids. I'm like, how do we not know you are you? Because you don't have a Mac or anything. It's kind of, it's like, hey, I'm this person. That would lead to you. But yeah, they get the power to go to see their daughter. Um, and it's just like laughs at them because she's never seen them, I guess, in costume and stuff before. I think this is funny because they've been living on an alien planet and stuff away from us. And then they get to spend one more night with her, so they have a whole montage of them spending the day with her. But I think it's. Is a great way because I feel like something's gonna happen. I, it's like somebody might die. Somebody might. I don't know if that's indicating like this is the last time they've been and then somebody goes dies. I mean, so far only one character, major character, I think, had just died in the comic. I can see who it is, but somebody did just die and it's not. Um, to me, that would be. I feel like yes, he would be sad, but he's not gonna be too sad. Um, compared to if losing Mark and Evie hasn't died. Yes, I'm. I'm wondering could one of them die at the end? Could be or could not be. I would like to see. This is gonna be a fun ride. Then they go to meet with Mark's father, Alan, and some of the other guys. And then, uh, and then he's like, uh, then he starts telling a plan. And then Mark's like, uh, I might have a better idea. And that's where it ends. And then we get the next issue. Invisible issue one city for another book, great book in the comic line of Invisible Comics. And as you see, this one very short video. If it's everything invisible for the comic, there's not a lot happens, so it's very concise, so I can just be like, boom, 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 this is what happens. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this review. Yeah, you can always check out my social media sites in the description below. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff in the description box below. You can also share it to your favorite social media platform of choice and like it. You can also 
Check out my main channel, Super Crazy Grammar, where I do parodies, skits, and stuff on that channel. Check out the channel where I do more gaming, comic, movie, anime-related stuff. And you can always stay up and I'll see you next video, guys. Bye.